During this debate, Jason Kenney had his eye on the leadership of the UCP. Former Wild Rose leader Brian Jean was his closest political rival. CBC News has obtained documents showing the campaign team of this man, Jeff Calloway, was working with Kenney's team to undermine Jean's leadership bid. A cache of documents leaked to the CBC show senior Kenny campaign staffers routinely contacted Callaway staffers. They offered strategic directives, speeches and opposition research for Callaway to attack Brian Jean. All the while, Callaway planned to drop out of the race and throw his support behind Kenny. Former Callaway staffer Cameron Davies says he heard about the plan from an Alberta MLA who was Kenny's original choice to be the kamikaze candidate in which he explained that he had had several dinner conversations with Jason Kenney, in which Jason Kenney had asked him to run a dark horse style campaign. I haven't seen the type of collusion and coordination where the front runner finds another candidate, recruits them, staffs them, writes their speeches for them. With an election call looming, Premier Rachel Notley suddenly has some new political ammo. And Mr. Kenny owes Albertans a full accounting, not just empty denials, especially given that this morning we learned that these denials were actually calm, cool, confident lies. Kenny's party insists campaigns routinely communicate with each other and it broke no rules. And this political drama isn't over yet. Alberta's election commissioner is investigating allegations of illegal political donations related to the Callaway campaign and has passed on information to the RCMP. Carolyn Dunn, CBC News, Calgary.